Welcome back to my channel. I'm T Infinity. This message for the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios. Happy birthday, all my Scorpios. We in Scorpio season, okay? And this message will be taking a look into the energies for the water sign and what uh, Most High has for the water signs this week, okay? Moving into November, okay? So if you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Comment below for that October giveaway. Follow my IG if you like a chance to win a free reading. And hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell if you like my videos and you want to keep seeing them, okay? I greatly appreciate that. Thank you for all those who support my channel and support me show love to me i love y'all back and i'm so thankful for that without further ado let's get into this message from my water signs so water signs um i see you are financially abundant i pulled the ten of pentacles already I shuffle these decks and I use my sage so I can cleanse the energy of any negative energy, the area. And um, I also got number seven, crown chakra. So I feel like a lot is going on with your crown chakra. I feel like um, water signs, you could be feeling maybe a headache or you could be feeling like a tingly sensation in your forehead. I'm also hearing for some of you could be feeling pressure on your head. This is a activation from your crown chakra from the most high God, okay? They're activating you with many ideas. I'm hearing creativity. I'm hearing um, a lot of um, ideas when it comes to financial stability. I'm also hearing ideas to help others heal. Okay, what a sign you are healers. That's what I'm hearing. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios, I'm hearing that you are multi dimensional beings. Okay, that are that is being activated at this time. Okay, that full moon that just passed was a very powerful full moon for my water signs. That's what I'm hearing, even though it was an Aries full moon. Okay, so. I'm also seeing this butterfly here. We are in Scorpio season. So this is a season for transformation, death, and rebirth. And what a sign you are transforming this season, okay? I'm also seeing here a lot of purple once again. And this is saying, listen to your intuition, okay? And these are the um, messages that I got when I just shuffled the cards up to get into the water sign energy, okay? So then we have the seven of cups right here. Okay, and with this seven of cups right here, I feel like it could be um, a lot of people that are basically trying to get in on your idea. It could be also a lot of people that want to help you or you can have a lot of options when it comes to a new love. That's what I'm hearing too for my water signs. Okay, so let's see what's at the bottom. Let's see what we got for the moonology for the water signs for this week. October 26th and moving forward to November 1st. Okay, look. What did I just say? A new romantic cycle begins. And then I say, I feel like my water signs got a lot of options when it comes to new love. I'm trying to tell y'all. And this was Libra season, okay? And then it says, don't let your past hold you back. South node. So water signs. You need to look up your south node, okay? So you can move more towards your north node which is the note of your highest self your best version okay that's what i'm seeing here but most definitely what it sounds y'all got a new romantic cycle that's beginning if you single a new love is coming into your life if you are already in a relationship i'm hearing that this relationship is evolving okay very much very much so we're going to get into these messages for my water signs. We got crown shock right here, a new romantic cycle. We got the ten of pentacles here with don't let your past hold you back and south note right here. Okay, look, solar plexus chakra number three. The frequency of solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower as well as our knowing who we are and what our contribution is to the whole okay do y'all see this do y'all see that number three solar plexus and then i tell you was getting a lot of activations so yes your chakras are getting activated okay and look who popped up 
divine masculine so yeah you in control of your emotions at this time you in control of yourself at this time you are grounded you are activating your chakras water signs and for my water sign divine masculine the frequency of divine masculine supports our strong focus and active side allowing it to express itself while helping to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom so what are signs you bringing your ideas and didn't i say you was healer healing and you was a healer what a sign i cannot make this up most highs in the building right now okay you are a healer you are a healer um what are signs y'all healers the frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. And y'all saw me shuffle this deck. Then this came out. Then Divine Masculine came out. Now healing came out. So yeah, like I said, you have a new romantic start with a new lover. Or if you are already in a relationship, this relationship is going to take off. Okay? You have the Ten of Pentacles here. All right. That means that this relationship is going to be stable and financially abundant for longevity. OK, you have the crown chakra right here. OK, you are connected to the most high and able to transmute negative energy because you know yourself what is sign solar plexic chakra. All right. And you have a lot of options at this time. And I feel like you moving away from any negativity that no longer serves you with this six of swords. And that's why Most High is blessed because you're not letting your past hold you back. Okay? South Node. And you moving towards your future. Ten of Pentacles. So we're going to get into these messages. We're going to clarify all of these messages that we have. Okay? We're going to clarify each and every single last one of them. And look what came out behind this. Believe in the impossible water sign. Believe in that. Didn't I just tell you that full moon that just passed? That was a powerful full moon for some of y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Why is this at the bottom of the deck when I said that? And I, I just shuffled these the cards. That's all I did is shuffle these cards. I did not look at them or anything. So now I'm showing you guys. Because um, we, we doing this together. We doing this together, family. We doing this together, water family, okay? So, yeah, somebody is watching you, watching your success, okay? This could be somebody that you're in a commitment with. I just want to let you know that, all right? But we're not going to clarify with these cards. We're going to clarify with the big right away so we can see. Most I thank you so much for these beautiful messages. Please give my water signs the most important messages that they need. From the right away, Tarot, as we clarify these beautiful oracles that you've given us. Ashe, 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 okay? I saw 8-8 eight, eight just now. That is ultimate abundance, okay? What a sign. You have, you're going to have ultimate abundance. That's what I'm saying here. Look, page of wands, good news. You're going to receive some type of good news and somebody else feels left out in the cold, y'all, and then regret and despair. What a sign. All right? So we're going to clarify these. Let me go ahead and shuffle. Yeah, because somebody is not communicating. It could be a cancer. I'm seeing that somebody is not communicating and it could be a cancer divine masculine. Okay. It could be a cancer divine masculine because they need healing. And I feel like they are, are they are a healer as well, but they are not tapping in to their um, healing abilities for themselves or for anybody else. So divine masculine, water signs, you need to tap into that ability to heal yourself. Because some of you could be injured or hurt right now. And you have the ability to heal your own self. You don't have to go to anybody else for healing. That's what I'm seeing here. You don't have to go to anybody else for healing. You in, you in um, healing mode, okay? You have the capacity to heal your own self okay that's what i'm hearing here because you feeling heavy burdens right now so most high why did you show us um why did you show us this crown chakra why did you show us that for the water signs please mm, heartbreak okay three of swords so somebody could be transmuting this heartbreak okay you could what a sign, you transmuting a heartbreak from somebody that was giving and receiving with someone else, okay? 
That's what I'm seeing here. It could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Because somebody is mentally in prison about their crown chakra, uh, about this heartbreak water sign. Okay, this could be you or this could be somebody else. Because I feel like somebody wants to take action because somebody is used to being given to by this water sign and taken care of that's what i'm hearing but this person is no longer taking care of this person and they're mentally in prison mm -hmm. about this this could be an air sign aquarius libra or gemini water sign that you used to deal with okay i feel like this person secretly wants to have sex with you or secretly wants to take action towards you okay because they want you to make money with them or for them. That's what I'm hearing. Or they want to want you to give money to them. And then I just tell you this person was used to you giving to them and taking care of them. Yes. And this is the same energy. Pages. Pages. And I feel like somebody could be watching you waiting to see if you're going to give them some money or something. More to sign. Secretly. Okay. Look. And there's another page right here. Because you're dealing with a very immature person. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Kids, and Scorpio energy. This could be your twin flame, okay? That's what I'm hearing here. But you are blocked from this person. Your ancestors are blocking you from this person, okay? Because they have secrets or they want to take action on you secretly when it comes to um, money, okay? Somebody also wants to take action too towards something new when it comes to money, okay? Mosa, why did you, why did you show us this page of Pentacles here? with this moon card here with this ace of wands why did you show us this for the for the water what i tell you ace of cup somebody wants to take a new action on love because they heartbroken okay they are heartbroken because i feel like they thinking about how they cheated on you and gave to somebody else but this person did not have anything this person didn't have anything and now they want a new opportunity in love with you what a sign okay they want to bring you an apology okay so they're heartbroken they're they heartbroken this could be an air sign that's what i'm seeing here so most high why did you show us the new romantic cycle begins why did you show us this for the water mm -hmm. look because somebody was being sneaky and they asked our karma this water sign water signs you was being sneaky and you got karma seven of swords or this air sign was being sneaky towards you okay and they getting karma because the whistle the horn is being blow i feel like somebody was being sneaky towards you what a sign and they getting karma right now okay when it comes to your love your divine feminine so divine masculine was you being sneaky towards your divine feminine yeah you was and now look what a sign divine masculine you watching your divine feminine heavy heavy look Page of Swords, you watching your Divine Feminine heavy. Yeah, because she victorious and successful, point blank, period. Divine Masculine, and you see that. Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups. And you see that she, this person has lots of options. You see that your Divine Feminine has a lot of options, water sign Divine Masculine. You surely do, but you were still doing something sneaky, okay? So we going to clarify that Seven of Swords. Come on, so why show us the Seven of Swords for a new romantic cycle begin for the water? Because she already knew. Because she already knew. Water signs. You very intuitive. You a divine feminine water sign. You very intuitive. And you knew that this divine masculine was being sneaky. Point blank. Period. That's the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. King of Swords. You already knew that. You already knew that. And that's why you got this Ten of Pentacles. And that's why they said, do not let your past hold you back. Point blank. Period. Pooh. Because this person was cheating on you. And you left them. You left them because they made you feel hurt. Nine of Wands, Six of Swords. But you, but they still holding on to you because they indecisive. Okay, because they're what? Heartbroken. Three of Swords. You see it. You see it. And they want a new opportunity and love with you because they want to have your you in the palm of their hand. What a sign. They want you in the palm of their hand, and they want to live with you, and they want this Ten of Pentacles with you. Do you see the Ten of Hazards? And this is the same Ten of Pentacles right here. Okay? I'm trying to tell you. 
trying to tell you so most high why did why did you show us the solar plexus chakra why did you show us this for the water signs please because mm -hmm, somebody is stressed the hell out because I feel like they want to apologize to you because you not stressed out anymore. This kind of want to come in reverse. But I feel like this person, divine masculine, water sign. You stressed out over your divine feminine water sign. Okay? That's for some of you. For others of you, you just stressed out because somebody that you dealt with is very successful. Okay? And they know how to transmute negative energy. And you want to apologize to this person because you want to have sex with this person. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Yeah, you want to have sex with her and you mentally in prison about this, okay? Clarify the not. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because you did some sneaky shit, Divine Masculine Water Sign. And the Wheel of Fortune is not turning in your favor because this person knows that when it comes to you. And they, they probably read several. Like, tower. Tower. The person from your past. So, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Your person from your past could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're going through a powerful realization. That's why they ass is stressed out. Nine of Swords. Because they want to apologize to you. Because they're going through a tower moment. And this is a person from your past that does not want to let you go. Okay? Because they know that you have a sense of self and personal power. And you very powerful. You very powerful, what a sign. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay? So, Mosai, why did you... Oh, you we gonna cl clarify this? Okay, clarify this with the six of cups and the tower. Okay, most high. Clarify the nine of swords, the knight of cups, the six of cups, and the tower for my water, please. Thank you. Cause they ass is left out in the cold tower moment. Poverty. This person is in poverty, okay? Yeah, because they know that you cut them off. And you no longer indecisive about what you want to do. Point blank, period. You no longer indecisive what you want to do. And you cut this person off and they're in poverty, okay? Moving on. Seven of Wands. Block they ass, all right? So, most high. Let's see. Uh, clarify. Let me put all these back. Clarify Divine Masculine, please. Why did you show us Divine Masculine for the water signs? Water signs, I'm trying to make this video kind of fast, but it doesn't seem like it. This water sign has a lot of passion. Divine Masculine water sign, you have a lot of passion towards your twin flame that you are now in separation from and in poverty. And you want to communicate to this person, eight of wands, quickly and very quickly, okay? Because you see they got their ten of pentacles. Cannot make this up. Cannot make this up. They got their ten of pentacles. And they manifested this. Water signs. Some of my water signs, y'all manifested y'all ten of pentacles. Y'all longevity, y'all stability with y'all family and y'all house, okay? You did this because you was the high priestess, okay? Yeah. And I felt like Divine Masculine knows that. And that's why they want to bring you an apology. They want to apologize for all the terribleness that they did. And all the indecisiveness with them seven of cups. Thinking that they was going to really do something. But they didn't. Thought the grass was greener on the other side. But it wasn't. The devil card right here. Look, the devil card with the magician. And y'all know what's right after the magician. The judgment, karma. And then I already showed y'all the judgment. I surely did because you healed. And then I tell you that you were here, look, what is sign trying to tell you. And this person is obsessed over you because they know that now. And they know that you got your ten of pentacles. And they ass is getting karma. And they in poverty while you rich and wealthy. Point blank, period. And they looking at you like that. Stress the hell out. Nine of swords. Having a lot of passion, feeling very angry, feeling in their um ego, feeling in their ego about their twin flame relationship. Divine masculine, who is in the five of pentacles. Wow. You in the ten of pentacles. Look at that. Lord have mercy. Okay, so we are almost at 20 minutes now, and we still have one more thing to clarify, which will be. Let me go ahead and put all these back properly. The healing. We're going to clarify the healing now. 
Most I look. Did I tell you was having a powerful realization? Look at this 10. And then look what come after this, y'all. Magic. Because you manifested this. Some of my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you manifested this type of lifestyle. You was in poverty. Some of my Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, just a couple years ago, you was homeless. Now, look how you live. It tell me God ain't good. God ain't good because you had a powerful realization about a person and you healed from that. And we're going to clarify this here. And now you have authority. Ten. You have authority. Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten. And if you see ten, ten, this message could be for you. Clarify the healing piece for my water. Like I said, this Scorpionic season, the death card, you transform. Didn't I tell y'all that? You transform. For some of, of y'all, this is for my divine masculine. The lover card here. For others of y'all, this is for my divine feminines, okay? Who has they house? Who has they house? While somebody else picked a young woman that all they wanted them for was what? Money. To fucking steal. Excuse my language, y'all. To steal from them. To steal their money. And this is the same person that is homeless and poverty the merchant this is for some of my water sign divine masculines i'm sorry to say but yes this is for you okay be honest with yourself be honest with yourself because that's the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and my divine feminine water signs you get injustice okay and you taking a leap of faith because you cut somebody off and most i said you cut off whatever does not serve you no more okay and you transforming and you transform and come this Scorpio season with this butterfly head and a death card. Okay, water signs. That's so beautiful. I'm so proud of y'all and so thankful for y'all. And so thankful that, you know, you're getting on your journey. You're getting on your path. This is definitely for a Cancer or a Scorpio. Okay, definitely for a Cancer and a Scorpio water sign. All right, y'all are healers. Point blank, period. You are healer, divine masculine, Scorpio, divine masculine, Cancer. You are healers, okay? So now, let's move on. Y'all, I cannot make this up, y'all. I cannot. I'm going to show y'all this deck just before we go. Look how this deck is. King of Cups, Magician. Okay, 2222. If you see that, this message could also be for you. So we're going to pull some... Um, Listen to your intuition, divine masculine water sign, divine feminine water sign. Most high archangels, please give my water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, any uh, messages that they need concerning October 26th moving forward. Thank you. Not the right time, okay? Not the right time for something, all right? But for some of you, it's not the right time, okay? Because you need to heal. For others of you, you are abundant. In abundance is in your life right now. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. I'll be back with another message. Trust the most high in whatever you do. And I'll see y'all in my new message. Peace.